Hi, my name is Eileen McCusick. I'm the author of a book called Tuning the Human Biofield, Healing with Vibrational Sound Therapy, and the originator of the biofield tuning sound therapy method. Biofield tuning makes use of two weighted forks that we use on the body, and two unweighted forks that we use around the body. What makes biofield tuning different than other tuning fork modalities is that we actually work up to six feet away from the body in this process. I've been doing this work for 20 years and my research has revealed that what we call mind seems to exist in a sort of diffuse magnetic fluid or bubble that surrounds the human body. My biofield anatomy hypothesis basically states that memories are stored in standing waves in this medium in a very specific format. There's an anatomy and physiology to this field, and I've actually mapped it. And the details about that map are included in my book, so you can learn all about that. So basically what we do in biofield tuning is start six feet away from the body and move our way in very slowly. Generally, when I start a session, I'll start at the feet and then work my way up around the body in a circle and then come back down to the bottom. But the way that it works is you activate the tuning fork, and in this case, this is 174 hertz. This is the fork that I use the most when I do this work. You use a hockey puck as an activator, strike the fork, and then move slowly in towards the body from a distance of about six feet. You're looking for what's called the double layer plasma membrane that defines the outer boundary of the field. It's kind of like the magnetosphere of the earth or the heliosphere of the sun. It's a small region that contains more electric charge than the ambient medium between there and the body. And you can find it if you go slowly because you'll, you might hear how the tone gets louder and feel a sense of resistance or maybe more of a buzzing in your fingertip. Once you make contact with the outer edge of the field, you then move very slowly in towards the body. Now what I found through this biofield anatomy hypothesis is that the outer edge of our field contains the record of our gestational experience. Just inside that is the story of your birth, then infancy, then childhood. And as we move closer in towards the body, we move more towards current time so that anything we find close to the body is current or recent. Areas of historical trauma seem to have a sense of resistance in them and also a sense of chaos or static. And you can hear this in the overtones. The tuning fork acts kind of like a needle on an album. And as it intersects the standing waves present in the field, it broadcasts the information that's present. Ever since I started doing this work in 1996, I've had this strange ability to understand what I hear, the stories that are in this. And as such, it's allowed me to discover, for example, here on the left side of the heart is where all of the memories that are sad are stored. And so when you move in very slowly towards the body, you actually encounter areas where you feel a sense of resistance. Sometimes it can even feel like you're hitting a wall or you may hear a lot of noise in the signal. If you stay in these areas, these sort of problem spots, the body does a really interesting thing. It becomes self-aware of its own noise and will actually auto-tune itself. And what will happen is that sense of static resistance and distortion will actually resolve. And then you can keep moving in towards the body. There's only two motions in this work. One is this process that I call combing, where we're moving in towards the body on the plane of the treatment table, stopping in places that I call hangout spots, wherever it's dense or noisy, waiting for that to resolve, and then continuing in your approach towards the body. This works on pain, anxiety, depression, digestive disorders, insomnia, migraines. In all the years that I've been doing this, I've treated a very wide range of symptoms in people, and sometimes things resolve right on the spot. It's very powerful, very simple, very elegant. It's easy to learn, it's easy to practice, it's very easy to receive. It's non-invasive, it's, it's comfortable. <laughs> and so, uh, certain places that you, you encounter, you'll really feel a density. I just hit a spot right here. 
Whenever I teach students, they're always amazed to discover this sort of changing terrain or atmosphere and how diverse the expressions are that the tuning fork produces. I think of these areas of historical trauma, my current hypothesis uh, is that they're biophotons or light. From a shamanic perspective, we might see them as soul fragments, parts of the self that have been left behind in traumatic, difficult, or stressful experiences. And essentially what we're doing is retrieving them, combing them up, and then bringing them back into the body. I work with the chakra system, the idea that we have these energy centers in our body that are like vortices. And as we bring this energy back into the body, it feels like it's being sucked in and spread out. And people who are receiving it actually can feel it. They might feel a sense of warmth or tingling or even energy spreading through their body. And the outcome of this kind of this field grooming that we do is that people feel lighter, clearer, brighter, more relaxed. And it also does what I call open the aperture of possibility because we get stuck in habitual ways of thinking and moving and feeling and become blinded to other possibilities and potentials. Once we bring all the energy into the body in a particular energy center, the second motion is what I call columning or creating a column of light energy and information flow between the body and the front edge of the field. You move up slowly away from the body and you'll feel when you hit areas of resistance you just move up gently through those and then out through to the front of the field. And what I feel like this does is it disconnects us from our pain body, from our history, from our habitual knee-jerk responses to things and connects us to the present moment. When we're connected to the present moment, many different things can occur. Healing can occur. So that's the basic movement of this process. We go through, we comb, center, drop, and then column. And we do this in each of the seven energy centers, including the crown. So biofield tuning is a process that you can learn from the book. My book actually teaches you the whole method and you can read the book and then immediately start to work practicing on friends and family. If you wanna learn more, you can purchase my set of videos. This is five, about 18 minute videos or so that shows you different tips and techniques that you can do. So those are great if you just wanna work on friends and family. If you're a professional practitioner and you want to incorporate this method into what you're already doing, or you'd like to become a certified biofield tuner, I teach classes regularly in Vermont and San Diego. And you can learn this in a three-day weekend and actually go home and put it to use and produce pretty miraculous results pretty much right from the start. So if you'd like to learn more, you can visit my website, which is www.biofieldtuning.com. Thanks.